icy paths today here at the Aramosa Cart. So we were optimistic that there might be water flowing today at Potroff here in the... Uh, I mean the whole area is just completely pocked with collapse from beneath. So I can hear the water. Let's have a look. Down in Potrup. See the water, it's got a real, uh, what's the word, a real cheesy smell coming out of here. So there's obviously a bedding plane stream up on the left side. Going down a hole. Looks like we've got a joint here right in front of us. So I think the odds are when it goes down the hole, it's probably following this joint. Um, you can see this, uh, obviously this is backed up. We've got a lot of logs in here. Recent backing up too, by the looks of it. Let's see if we can see down the hole a bit. You can't tell me there's no tunnels down there. There's gotta be. That's a lot of water going. Maybe a little clearance and uh, Jeff's pointing out that he believes there's, a, there's some upstream tunnel as well. And he's got a couple of pictures that he's taken down a hole. So I mean, this needs some further looking for sure in the summer. No doubt about it. So yeah, it definitely looks like a like a low bedding plane. Um, once you get inside where the water's flowing, it kind of spreads out. It hurt to you know explore beyond that if it were possible by the conservation area. That would be interesting. Nexus is back there somewhere. Remember I came here at night once and we found it by this tall tree. It was kind of a landmark and you know the entrance is right beneath the tall tree. Jeff's just checking out a, another open grike or sinkhole. There it is. This is the midway point along Nexus. Water's flowing a bit today. Let's have a look down inside. So I remember Greg Warshall telling me when he first found this uh, this area and brought it to the attention of Marcus Buck and conservation authorities that there was a bum who was living here. And of course he had his own plumbing. He was actually living down in the bottom of this hole, uh, the Nexus, the Nexus window. So up that way, that's what Laidlaw says, a filthy, unmemorable crawl. And uh, we're heading off down this direction. We're looking more at uh, Heads down towards a little bit of a waterfall, drops, I don't know, a couple of meters. And uh, Cave Chicken's just done a recent uh, uh, video of that. You may check it out on his site. You can see something of his climbing the, uh, the little waterfall. Goes through a number of tight S bends, pretty jagged. Um, that Just looking for the uh, the outflow here from um, what is it, Olmsted and various other caves in the Aramosa Karst. And there is a fair bit of water bubbling up, just coming out of this sort of embankment down beside the road. So no, it seems to sink. Just goes around and. kind of resurges up there from the Aramosa Karst and sinks back down over here. There's it going. Some huge turkeys here, man. You see them freak out in a second. There they are. Jeff points out it's going around the pipe as well. So this has got to be an infall as he says. I would agree. Somebody just checked the pipe there just to sort of try and keep the free flow going on. Mm -hmm. 